Hello and welcome to part 4 of importing an Assetto map into Beam and G Drive. Part 4 is where we're going to be editing the map inside the Beam editor itself and getting a few things ready for driving in Beam. First up, we're going to go to the scene tree up the top here and we're going to find the base. We're going to set this to a visual mesh final and make sure you tick these little boxes here. These just help with FPS a little bit. We're now going to find the trees and we are going to tick the same boxes here, but we're also going to change this to no collision. Um, trees from a so is kind of a pain. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the trees. I'm going to go to window. I'm going to go to the material editor. That's what I normally do first. Open the material editor. We're going to click on the trees. I'm going to find uh, the bush. So you can see this is the bush. We're going to go down the bottom. We're going to go to advanced layers. We're going to go alpha clip. You see them move so now we're going to go up to them and we're going to mess with the alpha threshold until things look good for me sometimes you have to invert sometimes you have to double side i normally double side just to be safe so what you're going to do is you're going to go that you're going to go to the maple the look around i'm going to go down to here we're going to go alpha clip so you see it's these trees right here nice and simple to do like this put a little bit of alpha on it and we're going to double side it just to make sure that you can see it on both sides now let's go to the next one normally this shouldn't be too much but we're going to double side it alpha clip let's find out where these are oh look there's these big massive ones here so as you can see they look a bit dodgy so we're going to add a little bit more alpha clip to these ones like that try and get them to look as best as you can uh, Beam doesn't really like a set of trees, but we want a set of maps. We do what we got Do what we got do what we deal with so we're gonna do the last tree big which I'm guessing is over the back here which is Lovely and then we're gonna double side it just you see that double extra there just to make sure It looks this is okay to be honest We're just gonna add a little bit just to be safe and then make sure we save all the dirty materials with this lovely one at the top here once that's done, um, this back one, I think I'm going to just leave for now. Sometimes you want to add alpha clip or double side. Um, but this looks to be fine so far. So that's the collisions slash the materials done for the trees. They look a lot better than they did before. Now, um, same for these signs and stuff. You would have to uh, find a sign in the map here. So if we just click off here, I'm going to find the sign here, it's going to be road A, so if we're going to look at the material here, we're going to copy it, minimize, go back into beam, and we're going to select at the bottom here, we're going to type in up the top here, here's our lovely material, sometimes they are weird, um, and they won't let you do the alpha clip, um, which in that case you'd have to edit the material itself to do that, which that's what I needed to do. Um, I'm not really going to go through that. That's just basic editing the material. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to save the level. Make sure everything is saved. Make sure you save every now and then. I'm going to press F. Actually, before we do that. Because we're so high up in the sky, we can technically just remove the terrain. We don't need this. We're going to be then selecting the scene tree, the base. And we're going to move this down to water level. Somewhere around here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to press F11. Actually, before we do that, we're going to make sure we save it. Remember to always save, guys. I'm going to press J. We're going to press Shift C. And we're going to go all the way to the playground. We should technically be able to land on this right now. How awesome is that? Okay. So now what we can do is we can temporary drive around to make sure our map feels good so if you can hear clicky clackly um i'm on a keyboard my wheel is not set up right now but as you can see we have the map in to beam now another thing you're going to be wanting to know is see these act as concrete right now so to fix that we're going to go into the material editor once again we're going to select the base we're going to find the grass thank god it was selected by itself we're going to go down to additional info you see the ground type bit here 
gonna tick this and we are going to change it to grass or grass 2 whichever you prefer save Control s or file save level see how it's not may still be a little bit of a it may have to reload the level they may have changed that they've changed that okay so you'll have to reload the level for the grass to take effect we can add some other stuff with the in-game stuff so we can add spotlights we're going to change the time of day very quickly it's going to look very bad but we are then going to go to a spotlight and we're going to click left click here you see that it's added a spotlight we're then going to go to the scene tree find the spotlight and we're going to press number two which will then allow us to rotate and we can rotate and we can then tilt it a little bit more so it's aiming out a little bit then we're going to press number one and we're going to move it up a little bit now we have a little light in this side bit and then on the right we can change the range normally i put it to 20 just to make sure it reaches the ground the inner size normally 50 you don't want to go too much here the outer side 80 80 and put that back to 50 and as you can see when we go out of here go back to the lovely hits we're gonna see a lovely bite now you can add extra stuff you can go around you can mess around with these things i'm not really going to go in depth with editing it's pretty self-explanatory you can do it so you cast shadows this will add a little bit more uh, stress to the systems i wouldn't do this for every single one maybe important ones but um you could also do the flare types these are just basic stuff so we click off of it on this there we go that's just a big example but some of these you can mess around with and uh get them looking really cool i've had some on my skid land which look really really cool so now basically all you want to do is you want to just drive around and um test for collisions i know a lot of stuff is going to have bad collisions now you have to make collisions in game as you can see they are kind of bad um, you can do stuff in blender to make a collision better and there is other ways around this i just prefer to do it all in game myself um, i normally do it through a mesh road editor with the depth to around two i don't think that's really we're gonna put this to 0 0.6 because we don't want it that big to be honest i'm gonna click on the signpost and we're gonna move it along uh, and then basically just carry on going until you got your stuff um you can obviously go around and just edit these unneeded um technically you just need a little um just a little bit like this you can go effect and line it up so it's even even side that's completely up to you but just a base collision is good so you're not grabbing on a guardrail and then to hide this you just tick the little is render enabled the right hand side when you select it you just is render enabled and it's gone but we still have a collision so if we go Control s just to save it go into here and we're going to drive now as you can see there is no grabbiness we can crash right into it see that this one back here it's grabby we're gonna just oh, as you can see yeah it's really grabby so uh yeah that's pretty much it for putting your map into beam um you can go around change materials do whatever um if you are importing maps make sure you do have permission to import um don't just go around stealing other people's work it's not right it's not right it's not cool if this helped you out please leave a like so it gets out on the youtube algorithm to help me out um thank you all for watching and uh any comments any questions please leave a comment down below and i will be sure to answer as many as i can we're gonna just save it one more time before we're gonna close beam we're gonna go to our 0.24 this is how we're gonna save it and uh, share it
So we're going to make a new folder called levels. And we are literally just going to drag this folder into here. And then zip up the levels folder. Wait for that to be done. Drift play round 2021. And now you can upload this to a Google Drive and share with your friends to play. It's that simple. Nice, quick, simple. I hope this all helped you import maps into uh, Team. If it did, leave a like and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.